Hey, Mitchell Road Mustangs, welcome back to the Kitchen Lab. Um, today, I thought we'd talk about insects and butterflies, especially, specifically, butterflies. Um, the fascinating thing about butterflies is that scientists at Oxford University um, are studying butterflies and the wing movement and their uh, flight patterns, and that's helping engineers um, learn more about how to create um, more robots that are lighter, more efficient, so it's kind of interesting work. So let's get to the basics of a butterfly. So there's a butterfly life cycle, and I drew a little drawing for you guys here. So this is our butterfly life cycle, and it always begins with an egg, and the egg will turn into a caterpillar or a larva, and um, the caterpillar will eat that little leaf, and it will create the chrysalis, which we call chrysalis or pupa, and it'll stay in there and, uh, for a while, and then it'll become a butterfly. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly, and I thought we'd do something fun and creative to just kind of think about the life cycle of it, and then we'll do a little activity. So the first thing you're going to need is um, a clear plastic bottle, and I've got a little, um, just a little tray so we can fit our bottle in there because this experiment might be a little messy. You're going to need some white vinegar, or it can be any type of vinegar, really. Um, you're going to need some baking soda, um, some food coloring, and today I think I'll use a little bit of um, green food coloring to help us. Any color will do. Um, you're going to need a cup so you can measure your vinegar, and you're going to need a balloon. You're going to need some um, scissors, not a, you know, scissors. Um, we're just going to use them for a little bit. And you're going to need maybe pipe cleaners, a little wire, um, some markers, um, a clothespin, or a um, popsicle stick, some beads, and some tissue paper. We're going to need some tissue paper. All right, so we're going to get to the first part of our experiment. So we are going to think about how a, a butterfly goes from a caterpillar and then it turns into a butterfly. So we're going to do a quick experiment um, to, sh to, to showcase that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my safety goggles. If you don't have safety goggles, boys and girls, and you want to do this experiment, I want you to make sure that you have your parents along to do this experiment. Um, we're going to need a funnel, and I don't have a funnel here. Um, our funnels are at the lab. So what I did is I took a piece of paper. I'll show you. Just a little piece of paper, a rectangular piece of paper, and then I just turned it and twisted it, and it became a cone, as you can see, boys and girls. A little cone with a little hole, and I'm going to use that as a funnel, okay? So our first step um, is to take our balloon, and I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to draw a caterpillar on one side of the balloon, like this, and then on the other side, I'm going to draw a butterfly. And you can take your time doing that. You can do um, a really pretty butterfly. Just take your time doing your design. And just to save time, I have one right here. I put, I just drew a caterpillar on one side, and then I drew a butterfly on the other with my markers. All right, so that's ready to go. So now we get to the fun part. So I'm going to take some vinegar, and you're going to use um, three-fourths uh, three cut. So it's going to be almost full, not quite. There's three-fourths cup of vinegar, and we're going to use two tablespoons of baking soda. So I'm going to take my vinegar, and I'm going to put it inside my clear plastic bottle. That's my refrigeration here. Here we go. Make sure you don't spill. Take your time. So there's my vinegar. And now I'm going to add my little food coloring so you can kind of see the reaction since this bottle is clear. There we go. That will help a little bit. And I'm going to just swirl it around. Mix it up. There it's green. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to take my funnel and insert it into my balloon. And now I'm going to add my two tablespoons of baking soda. There's one and two. 
And then I'm going to use a little stick just to help it along so it'll go down a lot quicker. But you can shake it too and move it around. Um, either one will work. Um, sometimes <laughs> um, it helps if you um, if your funnel is slightly bigger. So you can just make it slightly bigger and that helps as well. Okay, perfect. There, it's going down. Getting all that stuff in there. Filling up our balloon with all of the baking soda. Tap it. Yep, there it goes. Getting in there. Excellent. Put all that stuff in there. Making a little bit of a mess. There we go. And now, we have, oops, we have our baking soda inside our balloon, and I'm going to go ahead and, you may need some help with this, maybe you need an adult to help you with this, I'm going to take my balloon and just put it over the lip of the bottle, make sure that it covers it all the way down, and this is a 12 inch balloon, boys and girls, you can use a 9 inch, it'll work either way, will work. So there's my caterpillar. Now on the other side you can see my butterfly. So we're going to turn this caterpillar into a butterfly. You ready? All right, here we go. We're going to just see how this chemical reaction works. There it is, boys and girls. Hopefully it won't pop. a really cool chemical reaction, isn't it? So you can hear that fuzzy sound. That's the sound of gas entering and filling up the balloon. So there we go, boys and girls. It went from a caterpillar to a butterfly. So that's our first fun demonstration. And it's pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to try is to make a butterfly. So, we are going to go ahead and take some tissue paper, and I've got some, you can find just tissue paper around the house that's um, been sitting around for a while, and it, you squish it, and you open it up, and you want to cut into little rectangular pieces, so you want to use your scissors to cut those rectangles, and then you're going to use them and just set them one on top of the other, okay, and just set them up to the side. Now, I'm going to take my clothespin, or my popsicle stick, and I'm going to color it. You can decide what you want to color, what color you want it to be. And I already finished one right here, so I've got, I put a little blue and a little yellow, and I also drew little eyes on it with my marker, make sure you can see those. There it is. And now, I'm going to use my pipe cleaner and open up my clothespin and just place my, uh, fold my pipe cleaner in half and place it in the center there, okay? And then I'm just going to just twist it left and right, so just twist, twist it once so it'll stay in place. Nothing fancy. There it is. And now, I'm going to use, if I, if I have beads, I'm going to use beads. Whatever you have around the house, or you can just curl these a little bit. I found some beads, so I'm going to put them on the end of my pipe cleaner. There we go. Look at that, boys and girls. It's already looking like a butterfly. I'm going to set it down, and then I'm going to decide what colors I want to use, and I'm going to use some pink, so I'm going to take my rectangle, fold it in half, and then in the center I'm just going to bring it together, almost like a bow, and then I'm just going to spread it out so it looks like wings. And then I have a little bit of 
This is wax paper, but it can be white paper, it can be any paper that you find. And I'm going to cut a square, and I'm going to do the same thing. In the middle, I'm just going to bring it together, kind of like a bow, and I'm going to put it on top of that pink. And then I found some orange. I'm going to cut another little square, and then bring it together, and put it on top of that white. That adds a little more to my butterfly. Now I'm going to hold it in the center where I squished it and brought it all together and open up my clothespin and just bring all that paper in and pin it. And now the fun part is you can arrange your paper however you want it to make it look like a big, beautiful butterfly. So you too can make some butterflies. You can use a popsicle stick and glue the paper. You can use, um, if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can use maybe a little bit of wire, have your parents help you with a little wire to add to your, to your um, um, stick or your popsicle stick or another stick, any type of stick you find. You can use tape, you can use um, glue if you have it. But I'd like to see your butterflies on Facebook, so maybe you can create some butterflies I'll post them on Facebook. Maybe you're more creative than me and you'll come up with an amazing butterfly. I would love to see that. Maybe you would like to try our demonstration with our caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Or maybe you can just make a row of butterflies and we can check them out on Facebook. So I am so glad you stopped by to talk about insects and butterflies. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about insects later on. We'll just concentrate on the butterfly today. And let's just go over our life cycle of the butterfly one more time. So, it begins as an egg, then it becomes a caterpillar or a larva, becomes a chrysalis or a pupa, and becomes a butterfly. Thanks so much for joining me for this activity, boys and girls. I miss you, and I look forward to seeing you soon.